Today I'm going to demonstrate one way that you can hang your patio string lights, sponsored by Backyard Therapy. What's going on? Welcome to today's video. My name is Colton and today I'm going to demonstrate one way that you can hang your patio string lights using poles. Now this video is sponsored by Backyard Therapy and they are the ones that provided the poles. So yes, this is a sponsored video, but there may be a discount code somewhere in this video, so keep watching. All the tools that I use within this video will be down below in the description, so be sure to go check those out. Now the time that it took me to install three poles fully in the ground with the string lights attached and powered was probably about 20 minutes. So let's get started. Here's the box that I received. Took my box cutter cracked open the box, cut it open, and here's my box inside a box, provided by Backyard Therapy. Now I'm going to give you a rundown of what's inside the box and what you can expect if you were to purchase the same thing. First, you have your set of instructions, and then you have your ground forks. These ground forks will come in two pieces. The ends of these forks are covered, which I'm super grateful for, but these barbs are also pretty sharp, so please be careful. Next, you have your ring tops. I got two singular and two quads, and this package that I threw off to the side will have your screws for your ground forks and washers. Forget about the washers because you actually won't need them. They make the poles less sturdy. And then you have your poles. I got a set of two, so each pole has three sections. Now let's get them assembled. The poles are pretty self-explanatory. You take each section, screw them into one another, and use as many sections as you want if you want to take advantage of that maximum height and make sure it's snug. Next, take your ground fork pieces. Make sure the female part goes over the male part. Grab that screw that was in with the washers and tighten it up. Now for storage, you want to make sure that the forks are collapsed by loosening the screw, but when installing the pole into the ground, make sure they're separated and it's tight. Now attach your ring top. I went with a quad and I also use a classic. I found that the classic actually works better for a straight line and the quad works better if you're going to be around corners and is zigzag patterns or changing any direction of your straight line. Next, install your fork at the bottom. When you do this, make sure that these rubber covers are off before you put it in the ground because these ends are sharp and won't do you any favors leaving it on trying to install them. Now let's go put it in the ground. I set it roughly where I want it to be, gave it a little tap, and then jumped on it. Now a few things to note. If you want your poles perfectly straight, use a level. You want to make sure these forks go all the way into the ground for maximum stability and also looks, and so no one trips over it. When you stab this into the ground, there's a pretty good chance you won't hit any underground pipes because the standard is 12 inches, and the ground forks only reach about 11 to 11 and a half. Now that doesn't guarantee that any water lines or anything is 12 inches. You may want to refrain from installing right on the edge of where a sprinkler line may be. Now the recommended distance between poles is 12 to 16 feet. Now the cool thing about these poles is you can add or remove sections to adjust the height of the pole, which I did here. Now I have all my poles in place, time to grab the string lights. Now a lot of your patio string lights have these little holes right above the socket to be able to hang, and you can actually take the ring on the top and put that through the hole. You will want to consider your power source and the very end of your string light pattern because I started with the female end of my string lights and worked backwards to my power source. And you'll see here when I actually tried to attach one pole to the other, the tension of the lights that I wanted didn't line up with the socket. So a quick solve for this was to move the pole that I installed. So to do this, just get a really firm grip on the pole and pull straight up. If you're installing it in a place like grass, this actually isn't bad for your yard. It's just like aerating it. And the holes are so minor, you won't be able to tell. So then I took that pole, tightened up the tension on the string lights, and reinstalled it. And if you do need to relocate your pole, and you need leverage underneath the forks, make sure your leverage is underneath the bottom fork, because the top fork could slip and scratch off the powdered coating of your pole. Now I had the appropriate tension between all poles, connect your power source, and plug it in. And now you're done. Now these poles are super easy to install as you just saw, so here's a 5% off your purchase when you use the link down below in the description and you insert that promo code at checkout. Now these poles come in a pack of two, meaning there's enough equipment for two poles in one box. The poles are eight feet tall when they're fully installed and stabbed into the ground, and I would caveat the lights are sold separately. You also wanna make sure you have an extension cord. I got a black one, cause then it matches the poles and I just zip tied that extension cord down the pole to the power source. And also be super careful when you're handling these forks. The barbs and forks are very very, very sharp. So I would recommend not throwing away the little rubber covers that come with it when you open the package. And these poles are powder coated galvanized steel. So they are sturdy, made to last, and totally worth it. They are perfect to enhance your space quickly, whether it's for a gathering or you want to create a relaxing area and you don't want to figure out how to hang your string lights from a large solid structure like a house. Also be sure to go check out other products that Backyard Therapy sells and make sure you click on this link to subscribe and this link to go check out other videos I've completed in the past. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.